Well, guys, something pretty exciting happened. Uh, Harbor Freight Tools actually contacted me and asked me if uh, they could give me one of their winches, their brand new winch that came out like last week. I said yes, they shipped it to me. I'm going four wheeling tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox this real quick, install it on my Jeep, and get muddy tomorrow, and hopefully get stuck, and hopefully I have to use it and show you uh, how it works. If you're not a subscriber go ahead and take the time hit that subscribe button it really helps us out and if you are thank you so much uh, make sure you guys head over to our website muddybeards4x4.com where you can buy some sweet merch and uh, got some discount codes for some of our sponsors uh, really sweet for you guys uh, so let's get started on this video today I'm gonna be installing the new Harbor Freight Tools Badland Apex Wench 12,000 pounds synthetic line so let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look at it. Let's go over some of the features that are on this thing, three eighths, Synthetic rope, 80 feet, um, 12,000 pound capacity. It's got machine steel gears in here in the planetary gear set. It's got seals everywhere. This thing is totally waterproof. Uh, like almost a lot of winches nowadays, they're waterproof. This thing's also rated at, I think, 1,450 PSI. Uh, so as far as a stream, water stream. So your pressure washer's not gonna hurt this thing either. I think that's pretty neat. That's not something that's featured on the worn or some of those other ones. You got your wireless controller, uh, which I'm gonna try out here pretty soon. Pretty excited about that. And this thing is just like really nice. It also comes with all kinds of, all the extra wires. You can relocate your controller box up here on the top, uh, pretty much anywhere you want if you wanna remote mount it. It has that option as well. These are your cable protector. So your synthetic rope, uh, if you get uh, it on a rock, say this guy's a rock here, and it's gonna just rub your uh, synthetic cable, it's just gonna uh, wear it out. And abrasion is not good on these synthetic ropes. So if it's on a rock, you can throw this around it so it doesn't uh, wear out your cable. It's got two of these, which is pretty cool. My whole battery setup here is kind of embarrassing. Uh, my wiring, not uh, so great. Uh, maybe a future video of how to clean this up and make it nice. So got my ground connected right here. Got our power power wire right here. You can relocate this box. It comes with all these extra cables and you can mount it anywhere you want in a remote location. You just pop this cover off and attach the wires here. And it has this little box here that uh, the wires will go through to make it nice and clean. This is my Smitty Built winch I just took off. And guys, I really understand this is not a fair comparison. This being a 9,000 pound, 8,000 pound wench, excuse me, 8,000 pound, and being eight years old, we got synthetic, three inch synthetic line, same as this, which is what I just put on here recently. It's not really a fair comparison being a 12,000 pound wench and it being in a price point of almost double. Uh, so, but I just wanna show you what side by side, what they look like.
Now that I got the winch all secure, mounted on the frame and my bumper, I'm just going to feed my power my ground through my grill exactly where I had it before. What do you guys drink uh, when you're working late in the shop to stay awake? Because that's what I'm doing right now. Going wheeling tomorrow, trying to get this thing installed, and um, running on uh, pretty much zero right now. Uh, don't tell me uh, you're drinking that bang energy drink, because uh, that's bad for you, okay? Uh, I got this tea here, some weird concoction my wife makes, uh, but I don't know what it is, but it is delicious. This really is super simple to install. Four bolts to mount to my winch plate, two wires, power, ground, and the little ground wire that goes from the cable box, control box, to where the ground is. And that's really all it is. It's wired, or you can do it wireless, and there's a switch right here to turn the wireless on and off. So first off, I'm going to just try it without the wireless, just having it plugged in here. And see, so we got our... A blue light on there. So let's uh, unplug it here. I did not read the instructions on how to run this wirelessly, but I'm just going to try it anyways. Press mode for three seconds to turn on off wireless. So let's turn on the wireless on here and Hold mode for three seconds, and I got a red light on. So let's see if it works now. Hey, okay, check that out. Wireless. The winch is now operating properly. Let's go get stuck. So 
these logs are pretty slippery and I don't want to cause further damage to my Jeep, my axles. So I'm going to test out uh, the new winch here and hook it up to the tree over here and get myself up and over. Turn the wires on and then hold this button for three seconds. I got my light on and it's good to go. Free spool it out. line speed on this thing is way faster than my last winch that's for sure Robbie was trying to get a shot of me doing it and he actually missed it because it actually was so fast so so far pretty impressed I love the wireless okay so far pretty impressed with this winch uh, used it a couple times today and it performed absolutely fantastic um, one of my favorite things is uh, the wireless controller is pretty sweet uh, and this hook is pretty sweet as well I really liked it so if you like our videos make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, leave a like maybe some comments and uh, check out our website muddybeards4x4.com to get some merchandise uh, watch our videos and get cool discounts at some of our sponsors uh, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you on the trail